Hi. <laughs> so a question I've, I've been pondering and, and sitting with for a while, which may be something like this to you, is how are you navigating this time we're in right now? Now, contextually, in case you're watching this in three or four years from now, <laughs> I'm talking about during the time of the virus, the, the coronavirus, COVID-19, lockdown, quarantine, et cetera, et cetera, all that stuff, which at some point will end, hopefully within the next couple of years. But my question is, how are you navigating it? And I, and I mean this from the point of view of emotionally and mentally. Now, physically, you might be doing things great. You might be taking care of yourself. You might be eating okay. Maybe you're getting all your food delivered. How are you doing that? Whatever. That's, that's not what I'm talking about here. Although that can be key as well because it can indicate some things. I might get to that in a little bit. So first of all, let me talk about the challenges people are facing right now because I've been reading quite a lot of articles and posts and some videos from people who have been through some challenges with this current experience. So ignoring, intentionally ignoring the whole physical health stuff that's going on with people who are catching the virus. I've got friends who actually are in the throes and ideally recovering, they come out the other side of it. I want to speak more to those of us who are, as far as I know, are not in the middle of that virus, but are in the side effects, which is lockdown, quarantine, and not being able to go and do stuff. For some people in this experience, and again, I'm not saying, I don't know the numbers, I don't know the proportions or research, it's purely what I've been noticing from my posts I've been watching and reading about reading of and articles that a lot of people are dealing with challenges about how to be functional during this time for some people it's like their feeling of just not being, of being helpless because there's nothing tangible they can do because this amorphous thing is not visible it's not you can't put direct your energy at it you can't do anything about it so some people are feeling very helpless about this time that's one thing that's going on is a lack of ability to do something or interact or make a difference because they feel like they're trapped or helpless actually there's two in there I guess I'm going to give you a smorgasbord of things that I'm raving about, and you can decide if any of them line up for you. And I will give some, some keys, some tools, and some insights, and an invitation later on as well. So let me get into more of the, what people are facing. There's a lot of write-ups I've been reading about, which is really, really touching me and, and challenging me, of people who are actually in abusive environment relationships. Excuse me, abusive relationship environments, which the words. Where people basically have no choice, it seems like. Well, first of all, if they're in a situation, there is a choice. There's a lot more crackdown now by social services and by the police on domestic violence situations that might be more prevalent now because there's more, um, I'll say safety is the wrong word, but it's that feeling where people who can get away with it think they can get away with it now because there are no, there's no, there's no um, limitation now. They can fully control the situation. Well, not so much. In fact, there are posts, you may have seen them on social media with people posting saying like, if you are in a situation where you feel like you're in a, an abusive environment, um, you know, send me a message or call me, let them know you're interested in my Mary Kay products or whatever they're using. So they're using some um, arbitrary thing to do it. And basically saying that if you just want to talk with somebody, just reach out on that theme, like talk about Mary Kay or whatever it is you think you're, whatever that secret code's going to be. And if you're actually in a place where you want to get out, you're really feeling your life is threatened, ask about so-and-so product. It's, it's like using code, which is what I know that the 911 operators use as well when you're calling in a painful situation, like you'd say you're calling it for pizza or something. So that's one one option there as a resource. So that's right there is one cha one challenge and one, re one resource to go to. But let me speak to more of what the everyday people are dealing with. For most people, it's kind of bordering on the helplessness experience, but it's also more about the feeling that they can't control things. And the biggest challenge I'm noticing, frankly, is that people are feeling like they just got to wait it out and then go back to normal again. Now, I'm of the perspective, the um, intention and the focus of that where we're going is not where we ended, not where we started. That what's going to happen through this journey, I hold a space for, is we'll have an evolution both in our own personal lives, but also in our nation's existence. Yeah, I'm going big on this one. So first of all, I don't believe we're gonna go back to where we were. When everything goes back to normal again, it won't be normal, at least I don't believe it will be. So if you're holding out for that, please don't be too attached. I suspect it won't be what you think it is. There's also question marks about how long it'll be till we can go back and interact and be involved with people and everything else. That's an unknown question too. You know, there's the thing that's been in the news yesterday and today about the governors and the president debating about how soon they can open up their states to commerce and, and economies and basically about money screw people's lives. We're not through that conversation yet. So knowing when it's going to change and end can be challenging because there's no finite numbers. Like you know when your vacation's scheduled, you know when Christmas is coming, you know when July 4th is going to be. 
you don't know when this is going to end. And that can be a bit challenging. It may not be something you're aware of right now. Maybe, my apologies, I've made you more aware of it. But there's this unsettled feeling right now where we don't know what's going to happen. Another part of this is feeling that you might, again, back to the hopeless piece, that there's nothing to do. I've been very clear about my own uh, inner journey, and plus I'm also part of a mastermind that's still going, which is why it's been wonderful, um, that it's a chance to keep looking ourselves in the eye, in the mirror, and going deeper. In fact, that's why I launched, and I'll tell you about it later on, but I launched a um, mentorship course, mentorship program, it's, a, it's an ongoing uh, subscription, that basically provides tools, techniques, and teachings for those people who join in, to help them navigate through life in a way that is more of an inward um, transformational journey. Because if you are choosing to just wait out this time, nothing going on, you might be, well, to be blunt, you may be wasting your time. This actually is a powerful time to do things differently. Again, as I said earlier, it's quite, I don't think we're gonna go back to the way it was before. So why not prepare for what's possible next? Whether it's a new hobby or a new practice, or maybe you're gonna start meditating more frequently. That's one of the things I've been doing more consciously because I've been a bit erratic with my own meditation. But with this time and this focus point, I'm being very clear about making that a priority. Um, certain health things doing differently, like cooking more than I did before. These things that I'm doing is something to, to really share my own um, support for myself, but also more self-reliance. And these are things I recommend if you're not already doing it, take these things on. Hey Katie, nice to see you. Thanks for joining my broadcast. So my encouragement to you is that this time that we're in, which is, which is not finite at this point, this is not infinite, it's, it's malleable. You know, it, it started, in a, um, I won't say incremental, but it started as a slowly trickling, then massively flowing shutdown experience. Like we were, a few places were getting getting more locked down and it got busier and busier. Yes, exactly, Katie, preparing for what's next. So my, my journey, and, and I just mentioned about the mastermind, so Katie, thank you for that. It's this uh, mastermind journey has been a great resource to keep on track to grow and, and become more more self-inspired, self-empowered, self-aligned. And that's what I'm talking about more in my own work because my relationship coaching work has really shifted to the one in the mirror. And I've been talking about that for probably a year and a half, two years about self-love as being a primary key. But I'm really clear about is that all of our success starts within. I mean, duh, surprise, surprise. But it does because we have this place inside where we can resource ourselves and support ourselves that maybe with this journey through um, time off <laughs> hasn't been as easy. And it's, and it's very easy to get dependent upon the powers that be. You're waiting for your check to arrive from the IRS, waiting for your state to do something for you. Well, what if that never changes? What if we are required to navigate a future that's not the same as it was before? As I mentioned, maybe it's more restrictive. Maybe it's more isolating. I'm not saying it will be. I hope it isn't, frankly. I got, I got, I, 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 I'm missing a lot of hugs that I want to collect after this is over because physical hugs are part of my, uh, well, love language, physical touch. So I don't plan on giving those up once we get back to normal, <laughs> just to say that. But the thing about it is also, is this is a great time, yes, as you said, thank you, Katie, for pointing it out, but success lies within. That the inner journey, the inward journey, the self-reflection journey is actually up right now if you want to choose into it. If Now, you may be working from home. You may be a virtual online worker. I mean, that's what I've been doing for years anyway. So that may not change anything for you. But if you're somebody who basically has got furloughed, or has been let, been told to work at home, or you're only working smaller hours, or maybe you're in a life that is not as balanced as it used to be. This is these are clues and indications. It might be a good time to look look inside again, look in the mirror, to really start to learn about who you are. Yeah, exactly, Katie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the lack of physical touch is killing. Yeah, it's it's like I feel so depleted, and it's interesting because, like I was talking to somebody earlier today, it's like, I know I can't get within that six feet space. And it's not that I'm gonna hug them or anything, but just the fact that they can't is a bit challenging. Again, we all have our challenges and that's one of my simple ones. So my, my um, you, you, perhaps you're building a lack of physical touch muscle. <laughs> well, the thing is you can, you know, be in your own space. You can actually, you know, you can hug yourself, that sort of stuff. And I did read somewhere about how masturbation is good for your health. I'm not saying you had to do that, I'm not recommending it, just saying it's out there. There's lots of stuff out there, by the way. And some of it's really, Interesting. So getting back on track, <laughs> attempting to get back on track. Um, this is an opportunity. This time we're in is an opportunity. Again, it may be to start a new hobby, a new practice. Maybe it's like, a, like some I copied from Katie and I haven't done it yet. I've been building it for about two weeks now is, is a sourdough starter because I want to start baking bread. I haven't baked anything yet, 
but I've been building the, the starter and it started, started fluctuating, so I sort of built it back up again. So I'm still feeding it and growing it. And I'm, feeling, I'm also waiting for the smell to shift too. It's not quite where I want it to be. So that's on my journey. So having a new hobby, a new practice is a great way to spend the time. Maybe you want to pick up a musical instrument or maybe you have one you haven't practiced for the last 12 years. You want to start with that. Maybe it's books you want to read. I've just picked up, um, because a lot of people in our community are talking about Joe Dispenza. I, got, I just got Supernatural, so I'm reading that. So having books to read is a good thing too. And it's really about, oh my god, you think he's ready. <laughs> Mine is, maybe yours is, <clears throat> starting from scratch. And I also read some of it, basically it takes about six, seven weeks for the flavor to really mature. So I'm not in a hurry. And plus it's been Passover, so I've been eating lots of matzah. So I haven't been eating the bread anyway. Anyway, back on track. <laughs> Thank you, Katie, for the, for the squirrel moments. It's been funny. Um, so, <laughs> so my invitation is to look at what you can do with your time. This is a time some people are just going to just Netflix and drink wine and not do anything functional. But I'm saying, no, I really encourage you to put your energy into something creative, something supportive, something that will be additive to your life. Maybe it doesn't go on your resume, but it goes on to your life skill practice. What life skills do you want to improve, refine, up level in the time ahead? Because again, we don't know how long it's going to take. It might be another month. It might be another six months. It might be another two years. We don't know. I'm not, I'm not recommending it's going to be that long. I hope it's not going to be that long. But the recognition is we don't know yet. So why not put time, instead of waiting, saying, well, I'll wait till it's done. It'll be over soon. Is put the energy into what you want to create, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. We want to see for the squirrel moments. Thank you, Katie. Yes. Yeah, wait the six or eight weeks. I mean, I don't know when. You know, I posted a joke meme on Saturday with like a calendar saying, okay, we'll start sweepstakes on which week, which month we think we're going to be out of this. We don't know. You know, and right now, of course, the conversation in the, in the media is about the, again, the governors and the president debating about who's going to open when. We don't know. And I frankly think the states have got a better handle on things than the, gov than the federal does because they're hands on. Anyway, not going to get political, just speaking about what is. So my invitation to you, my recommendation to you is look for things that you can use to inspire and awaken you. This is a great time for inspiration because it may be harder than ever to think you can have it. But frankly, it's within your fingertips. You know, if you've got internet access, which you must have, you're watching this, you can go online and find things. I've been, you know, offering my, my mentorship program, the, the Self Mastery Revolution, because it's all a place that I can provide a lot of my teachings for the last 30 plus years to help you have more of what you want in your life. So that link, that link will be in the comments afterwards. You can check it out later on. But whatever you do do, whatever you do do, yeah, focus on what it is that can add to your life. Focus on what it is that you want to be when you're over, when you're past this point how you want to function in the world maybe you've got a, a habit you want to break maybe you've got a habit you want to start these are all doable and just by the way um something i've learned many years ago is that it takes it's, it can be 21 25 30 days of different numbers but i would say just 30 days for safety it takes 30 days to remove a habit 30 days to install a habit that's two months we're going to go through that time quickly so i recommend if you want to change habits this is a great time to do that again if you want to join my self mastery revolution I'll help you with those things too as part of the coursework. So yes, exactly, Katie. Or yes, inspire and awaken you. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, if you want to go check it out, it's selfmasteryrevolution.com. I got the domain so you can go check it out there. Simple page, sign up if you want to join. It's, uh, it's really, where do you put your energy? Where do you put your focus? If you're just doing it to pass time to avoid things, yeah, you can do that. I don't recommend it. It's not my particular path. But if you put your energy into what you want to have, if you start saying, well, I want to learn how to do so-and-so, and then start researching it. And I do recommend, by the way, meditation again. I've been off and on for a long time, and I decided to get back on meditation because of this journey we're going on right now. And this talk came through meditation. It was like, I need to talk about the journey we're on. How do we navigate it? What is your GPS? I will come up with an acronym for that. I already realized that. Okay, ding. Okay, that's going to be on my radar too. <laughs> So my invitation to you, my recommendation, my encouragement to you, as again, as I'm going to keep hammering this point home, I'm being pedantic about this, is find things that inspire you. Whether it's creative projects, whether it's new things you do in service, maybe you go out and serve in the world. Maybe you're in a place where you have the health, you have a vehicle, you can go help feed people who are shut-ins. Maybe you need to help do deliveries as a gift, not, not to make money necessarily, so that's what you need to do, but to give something that way too. So I'm inviting you to, to look into what it is you can do that can add to your life and maybe touch somebody else. You know? You're gonna go meditate right now? Great, Katie, I'm glad I can inspire you or nudge you or remind you. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. So again, my, 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 
my myself much revolution um group program group online mentorship is available you can jump into that anytime it's an ongoing support system it started last month but it's not it's not a um course it's ongoing so you can join anytime you want um but whatever it is you do choose wisely yes you have lots of free time right now probably but you may i mean like i've got so many zoom calls i'm on and, and teachings i'm studying myself i'm still trying to make time for everything i'm working on as well but that's the good news because i'm really getting focused on having good things happening in my life and putting my energy there so i'm inviting you encouraging you recommending that you navigate yourself to a place where it's inspiring your own life self-inspiration is something that maybe you haven't heard before but it's doable choosing things that awaken you inspire you add to your life it's funny um, a friend of mine was posting on Facebook today about the, the, the first book we ever read that inspired our lives and the debates and the books that people read were just so cool I read all the books that are in that list basically which is kind of cool too but understanding that we have things that can inspire us anytime and the books I put in there were books I read when I was probably 16 so why not start now why not add now why not continue now why not renew your own um, that's what we're looking for Centeredness in your heart and into your inspiration. So, thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Glad you like the message, and I'm, I'm glad I'm inspiring. Um, and so I think, what was the other thing to say? Yes. Um, oh shoot, it went out of my head. It'll come back. Squirrel. <laughs> it does that all the time. <clears throat> so focusing on what you want to be, how you want to be, how you want to serve and inspire. I, I just in case you didn't know, by the way, I've done Facebook Lives now for three years. I did a whole series. I did a thousand Facebook Lives in a row that ended back in February. Um, and that's an archive. If you want to watch some talks, I'll put, I'll put the link. I'll put the link in the comments. Yeah, I'll put the link in the comments. You can go find the library. It's on. I put it on YouTube for safekeeping because Facebook doesn't save things very well. So you can go check those out anytime you want. There's a thousand broad talks. They'll keep you busy for a few days. <laughs> that's about mostly about relationships, but mostly about relationship with self. So that'll help you as well. But again, um, self mastery self mastery revolution dot com. So you can check out my mentorship program that's launched. You can join anytime you want. Um, it's an ongoing subscription, monthly or annual. You can choose wherever you want. I have a bonus if you sign up annually. Psst, check it out. Um, but otherwise, I just want to say, this is a reminder call. This is this is your date. This is not daily because I'm not doing daily anymore. This is your occasional reminder. Hey Dan, I can see you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, this is a reminder that you have navigational ability. The thing about this navigating through this journey, here's the secret. You have the steering wheel. You have the rudder. You have the control to navigate it yourself. You're not at the mercy of others. Oh, this is a whole other piece. <laughs> it's tempting to think that we're at the mercy of somebody else. I mentioned earlier about the waiting for your check to arrive from the IRS or waiting for the government to do something. Why wait? Now's a good time to work on yourself. You have control, navigational ability. You have you have the steering wheel, rudder, whatever you want to call it. The the the, the um the whatever you, whatever tool you want to use. You have the power to navigate your own life. It's time to grab it. I can help you with that. There are many resources out there, but my encouragement to you is don't let that be an autopilot. It's time to put your own energy in front of you, focus where you want to go. That's my inspirational talk for the day. <laughs> Again, check out my uh, Self Mastery Revolution. It's an invitation to come play with me. Ongoing mentorship, support, and guidance. It's just started, so you can get in now and uh, be at the beginning of this journey. And uh, whatever it is you do, choose something that will help you. Hi, Martin. Thank you for that. Um, Focus on what you want to have. Put your energy into where you want to go and understand that you have freedom to do whatever it is you want to do that adds to your life. And ain't nobody going to stop you except you. So why not get out your own way and enjoy what you want to do? And I will come back with an, an, an a, um, acronym for a GPS at some point. Or I should say an explainer for the acronym GPS that will fit this as well. It hasn't come up yet. All right. Um, with that, I thank you for watching. I'm going I'm to sign off again. I'll put some links in the comments you can check out including my self, self Mastery Revolution and also the link to my replays on YouTube. You can check them out there. Um, if you have any questions, comments, and if you want to share what you're working on, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you Let me know that too. And, uh, and if you have somebody you want to share this with, please share this with them as well. I think that's about it. Um, this talk is a wreck. These are my, <coughs> excuse me, random occasional talks. I do this every week or so. If you want to find out more about my work, you can message me and I'll tell you more about what I do. I thank you for watching as always, and as my reminder every single time is please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.